Morning guys, Promos Brand here. Another episode of Pokemon Pro. Today we're gonna start off our day by just uh, making our little jog over to, not jog walk, who are we joking? We're not jogging anytime soon. Our uh, walk over to uh, our first Pokestop of the day, which is right near my house. It's, uh, house is over here. I live in Toronto, Canada. Thornhill, the suburb from Toronto. So I'm walking right now. No internet activity. One second, turn off my Wi-Fi. I'm walking right now to the focus stop to get my uh, first streak of the day. You know how the first streak works? You normally get uh, more items, which is uh, why we get a seven day streak. And when we get the seven day streak, we get even more items in the first day, second day, third day, etc. And on the seventh day, we even get an evolutionary item. However, the problem is what most of us have noticed and what I talked about yesterday in the first video, which you can watch down below, broken up into four parts, that um, the evolutionary items, I wouldn't say that they're necessary, I would say they are random, but let's put it this way, there's rare ones and there's common ones. And the most common one seems to be King's Rock, and the second one seems to be Dragon's Scale. Um, I have four King's Rocks now, or three of them. Um, you know, sorry, I have two in my bag, and I have a slow uh, King, and I have also, um, what's his name, Politoed. So I had four of them now, and I have a Kingdra, female Kingdra, because I wasn't able to get a male um, uh, Cedra. So I have now had five evolutionary items, and they've been four and one. I've seen though, you know, Ben Tim's videos and um, other people's videos on uh, YouTube. And I've also seen that, I and mean, I noticed that they have also picked up King, King's Rock a lot and um, the uh, Dragon Scale, which is why I'm saying that those are the most common ones. Just, you know, I'm using a little bit of data, but you could already just see. So that's just uh, my theory going on over there. Other thing I like to bring up too is I've noticed that people have said, oh, they've picked up the same, uh, look at this, I'm just walking right now and saying I'm going too fast. So people have said that, okay, they have uh, picked up evolutionary items now, when the evolutionary items were like, this. so they picked up two evolutionary items at the same time, within the same minute, right? And there's like, oh, you go to a certain Pokestop at a certain time, and you can get at the, at, at the certain same minute. Well, my theory is that if you hit up a bunch of Pokestops at once, you will get an effect of like, a, not necessarily seven day, but like a one day or, or, or a five day or, you know, a six day or, you know what I mean? One of these extra days when you get more than three. Norm, okay, imagine it like this. Every time you go to Pokestop, you get three items. It's like if you play Duel Links, my second favorite game right now, you go Duel Links, every booster pack you get, you get three cards online, right? So every Pokestop you get, you get three. But you will see right now on our day one, because we just got our streak yesterday with our King's Rock, on our day one right now, we are going to take a, a look and see that we're going to get more than three items. You'll see it tomorrow, another more than two, more than three items. Every day, you'll get more than three items on your first stop, and you also will if you hit a certain amount. I think it might be your, fir your, ten your first ten. So that's how people have also been getting um, evolutionary items. They go to maybe a spot that they noticed that they got one before, and um, that's what happened. So anyways, look, around my house, I said we have like two gyms. Um, I think we're gonna make a walk around today just so I can maybe show you guys uh, a little bit more of the area. But uh, this is a, a retirement home over here. Sorry, I'm not too good with cameras. I'm gonna be fixing all this stuff in the future. So this is the retirement home and there's a little gazebo over there. And the gazebo is our Pokestop. So we're gonna walk to the Pokestop. Like I said, there's two Pokestops by us, one park, one here. Today what I wanna look at though is IV stats. So we're gonna look at the IV stats right after we do this. One, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven items, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's, you know what? You know what we'll do? We're gonna, we're gonna actually wait here for five minutes 
But what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna turn off our Pokemon Go right now. Oh no, we're gonna catch a Squirtle right now. If you watched my video yesterday, you said that I want Squirtle, Magikarp, and Totodile. So that's exactly what I need right now. Okay, 31. When it's so low, you have to be um, not thinking to not use one of these pineapple berries to get more candy. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna use. I don't like wasting it. Maybe it's Ivy's high. So I'm gonna try using an Ultra Ball. It's windy here. Beautiful. We just caught ourselves the first catch of the day. Actually, we might have caught our first catch of the day last night. Because I, I have a, I have, I get spawned, uh, like I have a spawn point in my house. It's and I've noticed that the trend is on. Um, so pretty much how spawns work in some places is it will spawn maybe just once an hour. So my house spawns once an hour. My house actually spawns specifically at um, 8:01. I mean not 8:01 at 8:03 or 7:03 or 7:03. So within the, within the third minute, before it becomes the fourth minute, any hour, it becomes a spawn. And one time even I caught a Lapras in my bed. It was very, very low IV and very, very low um, CP, which is something else we're going to talk about in another video that really frustrates me. That like Laprases and Snorlaxes should not be that low when you're finding them because they're that hard to find and it's heartbreaking once you find them and you realize how bad it is afterwards. So the, so really they got to do something about those. That's not, that's not fair. Certain ones like that, they have to change. But um, anyways, what was I trying to say? I caught a Lapras in my bed bef before. I even like just like two ha two things down from this BMW dealership over here. There's like um, a, f a funeral uh, home. At the funeral home, there was a Snorlax there. I caught a Snorlax, it was very low too. It was like 200 or, so or something. So the point I'm trying to make is uh, Niantic really has to uh, put into consideration that like there's certain guys like Snorlax and Lapras that are so hard to find. Like, you know, like, when you find them, they shouldn't be so low. Regardless, they have to do something to change it in the in the uh, game file. You know what I mean? It's not it's not uh, it's not cool. Okay, so uh, I want to take a look right now at the um, IV stats. I'm gonna take this Squirtle that we just caught. First of all, uh, okay, so I don't want this man 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 mantine or mantine. The discussion goes back and forth, right? But maybe you guys would be upset if oh, that's a high. You know what? Let's catch it, just to see if the 13, like, so let's, I want to use the IV stats with you guys. So I want to see, does this Mantine over here have, um, does this Mantine over here have, um, high stats if its CP is like, if its CP is what it is right now, 13 to 59. Let's take a look. Hopefully it doesn't break out. One, two, three. One, two, three. By the way, WrestleMania is this uh, Sunday. I don't know if any of you are wrestling fans. If you are, please uh, let me know if you also like wrestling and Pokemon at the exact same time. Which brings me to like Incineroar. He's my favorite Pokemon of all time. I still like Manchop a lot because he's also a wrestler. But now Incineroar, one of the actual starters, is is, is an actual uh, wrestler. And what his his think about it like this. His one of his moves is a dark clothes line. Okay, that's a wrestling move. And his Z move is like a is a, is a summer is like a somersault. It's 450 splash, what they call the moon salt, and uh, it, it builds a ring with like uh, his Z power. So it's just absolutely amazing. It's really great. So WrestleMania is the Sunday. If any of you are wrestling fans, let me know. But anyway, so let's let's see this man this mantine the mantine that we just caught in the Squirtle. How the IVs are because we're right, waiting right now for this uh, Pokestop over here to turn color. It's not ready yet, right? So while this is happening, for a second, I'm gonna put a hood on because it's. Very, very. See, the problem is the weather is still not nice yet in uh, in Toronto. It's starting to get nice, but not so nice. So while we wait for this, we're gonna close the app and we are gonna go to IV stats. Okay. Hopefully, it's gonna pop up fast. Beautiful it does. Okay, so now IV stats works like this. You can make it, uh, and this is how I recommend it. You should always have the mode recent. See, it says recent, favorite, number, 
name, CP, IV percentage. This is just like um, how you can pretty much take your Pokemon in the actual game, put them by the CP if you want, put them by your favorite, put them by the number, the recent. I always suggest to keep it by recent when you're playing an out. So then every single Pokemon that you're catching, you could see who they are. So look, so the Squirtle that we caught over here, it has 44% IV. Let's take a look what that means for a second. That means that this Squirtle's attack is 9 out of 15, 7 out of 15, and stamina 4 out of 15. So pretty much it's like, when it comes to a Squirtle like this, you would never want to take this Squirtle and evolve it into like a War Turtle, into a Blastoise. I'll give you a perfect example. I have a Squirtle uh, that was in 93 or 91, I think 93, sorry, 93. I ended up turning him into Blastoise. Why did I turn him to Blastoise? Because he has like an attack that's closer to 15, a defense closer to 15, stamina closer to 15. This is a weak one when you see it's 9, 7, uh, 4. So this one that's a 44, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to transfer it automatically. Now that we have the IV stats, which can be downloaded on the App Store or the IP Store, just type IV stats you can find it in two seconds it downloads it puts its password in if you're attached to the google account it gives you the google uh, and it attacks you direct, directly there if you're a pokemon uh, player account it directs you uh completely on there and every single pokemon that you automatically has it tells you what the ID is automatically something that the actual pokemon app is completely completely lacking so this mantine that was 1357 it's only at uh, 46.6 IV. And I'm almost certain that we have a better uh, Mantine. So what I like to do is, if you're like me and like you kind of get rid of all of your guys one by one when you're catching them, then it's good to have it like, uh, like uh, it's good to have it like, like this in terms of uh, recent. But now that I have so many of these guys, it's really, really difficult for me to say to myself, do I have a Mantine that's better than that or do I not? Do I have a gas that's better than 60 or do I not? Some of them will remember, some of them I won't remember who's better than what. So what I'll do is instead of going to recent, I'll click this button over here and I'll go into numbers. And now I'm going to look through my whole thing slowly now, my whole list to see which extras I have and who should be deleted, who should be transferred. Some people like to keep their Pokemon uh, just like, you know, the evolved types. I like to have one of every one. So like I like to have one Bulbasaur, one Ivysaur, one Venusaur. So I only need three. So now you see, like they're pretty high. I have an 82, an 82, and my Venusaur, boom, 91. That's great, right? Let's take a look at his attacks and stuff. Attack 15 out of 15. Do you see what I mean? 11 out of 15 defense. Stamina, 15 out of 15. Let's just, while we're talking, go to Pokemon Go and pick up this stop because we can pick it up once and we can pick it up again while we're talking in this video. See, we got three. Last time we got five. And then we got seven, sorry. We got three now. Three is the normal amount. Like I said, it's like a booster pack, right? Okay, let's go back to the, uh, to the IV. So what do I mean? What I mean is whoever has the highest IVs, that's who you want to be keeping. So I have a 91 Venusaur, great, right? Awesome. Let's take a look at Charmander, 77, 71, that's what I have so far, that's what I'm keeping. My 86, he was my highest, so I decided to turn him into the Charmeleon. Okay, makes sense? Yes. Let's look at the Squirtles now, because we've been catching all these Squirtles and I haven't been including them right away. 57, why do I need it? 60, 68, 64, 44, don't need these guys, right? You see I already have... 86 and look at this thing. It's 10 15 4. Okay, not the greatest war turtle 13 15 11. Okay, but look. Oh, that's my blastoise He has 14 attack 13 defense 14 stamina so ideally anyone that's like uh, 88 and up that's what you want to be uh, uh, um, Making um, like fully evolving No doubt you want to wait till, till that we're going to talk about moves like a different different time. You probably have anyway seen like Trainer Tips Nick's videos, other uh, people's uh, videos on, on uh, moves, all that type of stuff. But whatever, that's not the point. The point is, right now we're talking about specifically IVs using the IV stats, which people don't talk about a lot of the time, that needs to be brought up a little bit more to automatically transfer your guys right away. Don't do right now what you're doing. It's wasting time. So look, so what we're going to do is every single Squirtle that's not favorited, we're getting rid of because we already have see like you could see the green ones are the only ones favorited 86 86 and 93 
So we're gonna get, now we know to note to ourselves, all the squirtles, getting rid of. Let's look at the Caterpies, Metapod. Okay, this is a nice thing too. We can go through my entire Pokedex right now. So you see I have Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfee, Butterfee is a 97, great, right? Um, I have a Weedle, Kakuna, and you're asking me why is it that the Beedrill is higher, is lower than the Kakuna? Because I probably caught a Kakuna afterwards that was higher, right? Will I evolve it still? We'll decide, who knows. Pidgey, see these guys are 95. Pidgey and Pidgeot, 95. See what I mean though? You see how like I'm using this app to make it in such a way that like I'm trying to keep only the highest ones. That's why you see like 70 is the lowest one, opposed to like 3% or 20% or you know 50%. Like if I when I find a higher Spearow than 73%, I'll get rid of it. No doubt. Okay, so Ekans. Here's when we're gonna talk about now. Um, uh, um, features that has to do with more than percentages because we have two Ekans over here one I have favored that's an 88% and one that I don't have favored that is an 88% what are we going to do over here we're going to take a look at whose moves are better and whose attacks are better let's click on the new Ekans 15 attack 10 defense 15 stamina remember that okay 15 10 15 other Ekans 12 14 14 so automatically, whether this is smart or not, in my mind, I'm I I, I want now um, I want now the other Ekans because I like attack being the being the strongest out of them all. And the other Ekans over here that's 88 has an attack of 15. So I'm gonna just I'm not gonna even look at the moves right now to have to complicate it anymore. Just based on how uh, like it would be like step one, you look at the IV. Step two, you look at the attack, stats, defense, whatever you like the most. I like attack the most, okay? I'm peeking that. I'm not even looking into the moves to confuse it. When we have to talk about the moves, we'll talk about the moves. 15 attack, keeping the seconds, gonna keep in my mind. So far, the only changes I need to do is switch the Ekans around in terms of favorites, and then can transfer everyone else again. Okay. We got like we got like everyone here, right? We at least got everyone from like Gen One. See, I need some more. Uh, okay, so my Oddishes, my Glooms, and my Volpons are are low, right? What I'm gonna do is this 86 Gloom over here. For me, it's I don't need really a a a, a Bell a, a what's his name Belsum Belsum or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, the um, ev the evolution with the Sunstone of Gloom. I don't need one that is um, super better than 86. 86 is good for me, especially with the 14 attack. I'm fine with that. So what I'm going to do is this one over here, I'm saving for when I get a Sunstone. Okay. Uh, let's move down. Let's just take a look at what it doesn't have stars. See, like over here, I am waiting for Alakazam, right? So I'm going to actually take my 97 Kadabra, which is amazing. Look what it has. It's, it's only not perfect because its attack is 14 instead of 15. That's great, right? That is really great. I'm going to take this 97 uh, Kadabra and I'm going to turn him into an Alakazam once I get enough candies. And that is, the four, there's four guys I'm missing in uh, the, uh, uh, when it comes to the non-regional uh, ones of uh, Generation 1. I'm missing Charizard. I need to sell candies for Charizard, which is a huge one, right? He's amazing. Uh, Alakazam, huge one. Need more candies for him to change my Kajabra. Also, one of my favorite guys, which is missing. I have, uh, I still need uh, Dragonite. I need like 10 candies left, 9 candies left for Dragonite. He's also one of the best guys, in my opinion. So, like, I'm missing three of literally the best guys still. Um, and Muck. Grimer turning into Muck, who's really hard to find. So, over here, let's take a look at my Mad Shop, just for the percentages, okay? So I had a Mad, shop, a mad Champ that was 88. He was the best one so far. Then I got, all of a sudden, um, a Mad Shop that was 93. I turned him to Mad Choke. I'm gonna take this Mad Choke, and I'm gonna change the 14, 14, 14, which is great, right? I'm gonna turn this into my next Mad, mad, mad Champ. So I'm gonna have an 88 Mad Champ and a 93 Mad Champ. And when they're that high, there's no reason in my mind to get rid of, uh, to get rid of um, an extra one. It's always good to have for trades in the future or even just having two of them for the gyms. But yeah, same thing over here, Graveler. I got a 94 gra uh, 91 Graveler. Um, I'm gonna be turning him into Golem and I'm actually gonna get rid of my old Golem, my 60 over here. Um, I don't see trades coming anytime soon. 
and I'm not going to keep the golem around when it's a, 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 a 60. I'm just going to replace the 91 with him. Okay, so my Rapidash is high. I need to give some candies to it to use it as a fire type. What do we have over here to... Let's go back to the Pokestop right now. Okay, so when, when it comes to moves, right, the reason why I don't want to go into it right now is I'm hoping that they're actually going to change the movesets, okay? What do I mean by that? Uh, the movesets are very, um, I don't want to say random, but it's almost it's like if the guy has a high attack, if he has like a 14 or 15 attack, the chances of, like, I think that's the only way he's going to be able to get the best type of move set, move sets. If the guy has a, 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 a more defense than uh, than anything else, like high, high defense, I think that's how he's going to get the best defense type of move, move set. So I just don't like the whole uh, move thing. Hopefully they're going to change eventually move, the move systems around. I don't really know. So the reason why I don't want to talk into moves right now is because I just want to fo focus on, you know what? Get guys with high IVs, uh, get get guys with high CPs, and really you're going to be able to dominate. See, we had three again, three Pokeballs over here. That's all you're going to get, right? Three at a time. So use get your IVs in such a way that you have um, the highest IVs, the high C CPs, and don't even worry about the moves right now. You're going to be able to dominate still in gyms. It's not going to be an issue at all. Okay, now we're going to look into... Um, so look, so this Voltorb over here is better than my ele Electroid, right? So this 86 Voltorb will probably turn into an Electroid, and the 77 will keep, and I'm going to get rid of actually my Electroid. My Execute is, is uh, 95. I'm going to keep 95 Execute. Let me just go up to see if there's anything else. I'm going to keep this Execute, and in the future I'm going to make another ex Execute. And I'll actually keep my 84. I said keep it only if it's 88. No. This execute Executor's cool. I'm going to keep two Executors to keep around. They're always good grass type. I'd say Venusaur Executes are the best two grass that are out there of Gen 1. That's what I like to focus on. You know, Gen... Don't get, don't get me wrong. Gen 2 is cool, but there's only a few guys that are cool because there's a lot of baby Pokemon and a lot of bug Pokemon. Like, there's a lot of Pokemon that don't look strong compared to Gen 1. And if you just look at, like, all the other generations compared to 1, like, that's the thing. I grew up with Gen 1, Right? I, I was like in grade six or five when Pokemon uh, first came out on, on Game Boy. Right, I got Pokemon Color, uh, and, and I was using my my red on uh, my red version on there. My brother had a, a, a Pokemon Pocket, the green see-through version. Comment down below if you had the see-through green version of uh, of the Pokemon Pocket. If you remember, there's Pokemon Pocket came out. At, I mean, sorry, not Pokemon Pocket. Game Boy Pocket came out. After Game Boy came out, right? This came out way later, and it came out just right before Game Boy Color came out. It was like, oh, let's let's milk a little bit more money off the old technology before we release the new one right now. So my brother got the Game Boy Pocket. He had blue version. I had Game Boy uh, Color, and I had the red version. And then we both got the yellow versions on the uh, on both both of them because you were actually able to play color games on the regular one. They just wouldn't show up on color. That's how it worked. So anyways, um, what we're going to do over here is we are going to keep both of these uh, executes and we're going to move along down. What I'm trying to say is all the Pokemon that are in Season 1 are just so, so, so much better. Like, Gen 1 just, they just look so strong. Like, think about like how like strong they are and how cool they look. That's why I'm hoping that we're going to see a lot more Aloha forms. Because I think like the Aloha forms... Are really the coolest type of um, Pokemon that you can possibly get. Period. Like, what what could be cooler than the, the than like? They didn't do enough for them. You know what I mean? Like, like Arcanine, right? I give you an example. Arcanine should have, imagine if you still get like an Ice Arcanine, and imagine if you got like there was a rumored fighting type of uh, of um, Alakazam's family. Imagine if you get them the, that family now, fighting type, right? What happens if Machop Champ? instead of being fighting type, was like a psychic type or something like that. You know what I mean? I would like to see really all 100, I know this sounds crazy, 
Except for the le I'd say except for the legendaries or maybe even the legendaries. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'd like to see all 150 uh, uh, of the Kanto Pokemon uh, have variants. Maybe the legendaries is, it doesn't make sense because it'd be like there's only supposed to be one legendary of them, and they can't have kids. So forget about that. I just thought it'd be cool if there was like, a, 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 imagine if there was like an, an added like leaf leaf bird. You know what would be really 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 cool though? Tell me what you think about this, and this we'll talk about another time. First of all, why is there not a Mew three? Like. The thousandth Pokemon, if it's not going to be like missing number, missing number should be like, missing O should be 1001 or something like that, or like zero. They should find that go, he's zero. And 1000 should be Mew 3. It should be like Mew 2 said, you know what? Oh, I think that, okay, think about it. Mew 2 was cloned by human beings. So what Mew 2 should do is he should say to himself, you know what? I think I'm going to clone, I'm going to clone now myself. It's almost it's like Mewtwo's trying to clone himself, like maybe even to make, make a partner, and that's where Mew3 comes out. And he's the strongest Pokemon of all time. So I would like to see maybe a Mew3, and I would also like to see, imagine if there was, a, because we never, we had like all the legendary birds, right? Where was the grass type? Never a grass type. A grass type legendary bird would be amazing, like a green bird. That's why I was thinking about the variations. But that's probably never going to happen with all that stuff that I just said. And there, if... If they were to make the variations, they wouldn't make the variations of the actual uh, legendary, those four that I mentioned, and the five of Mew. So Mew, Mew, two, and three legendary birds. We never have, uh, uh, like, um, Aloha variations. But I would love to see Aloha variations of everyone else. Like, just be amazing. Different type. The main thing is the different types. That's what makes it so cool. Okay, so back to the Gen 1 guys. So we're going to get rid of this horsey, 64. Not, not impressive, right? All these Magikarps here, right? We have an 88 Magikarp. That's already our highest Magikarp. Everyone else, don't need it. 91 Gyarados we have, right? This is what I mean, though. See, the Laprases I caught, look how low they were. 281 after I powered it up. 927 after I powered it up. Like, look how low this attack is. 2, 3 of defense and stamina. I think this is why they don't want you to have the IVs. Because they, like... There's some Pokemon that are just so ridiculously weak. It's like, why are they even in the game? Like, I can't, like, how could I have found two Laprases and they're this weak CP and IV? And the thing is with the IV is the IV, you can raise the CP all you want, but it's defense too will never ever be, be better than that. So it's like, it's, I'm going to say it's disgusting that it's in the game. Flat out. 40 and 26. These Dittos, look. I caught all these Dittos. Four Dittos. All the worst IVs I've ever seen in my life. Like, just look at the 53. It's the it's the the highest one. Five, nine, and ten. Like, who wants that? And it's 45 only CP. So, like, it's just it's it's disgusting. That's another example. Like, I okay. Other guys having low CPs, no problem. You have to go grind your hardest, try to find whoever you need to find. Uh, you, whoever you want as the highest IV, you're gonna go out there to look your best and to drop whoever's the worst and to keep whoever's the best. But when it comes to like, when it comes to Lapras, when it comes to Snorlax, you know what I mean? Like let's, okay, look. Porygon, perfect example. These are guys that like, yeah, this Aerodactyl is a 97 because I got him from an egg. He's amazing, right? First Aerodactyl, only Aerodactyl I got from an egg 97. I couldn't be more grateful. 20, 24 though, Snorlax, it's disgusting. Attack three, who wants this? I finally got a Snorlax and this happened? Like, do you, do you understand what I mean? That's why, like, I'm, and it's 270 CP, it's a joke. It's literally a joke. You can't, you can't do that to someone. It takes away the morale and it makes it like, okay, you know what, what's the point of me playing this game versus playing the actual Pokemon game if the guys are that low? It's obviously the capture me mechanic, which we're gonna talk about, like, that in another video. I think how that should change over the next that we should adapt Pokemon Go into other uh, games in the future coming out to the other systems but when it comes to like the low CP on guys that are this rare it's not acceptable it's not fa it's not fair to us as uh, trainers okay any gen 2 guys did we catch like I mentioned before I'm so sick of gen 2 I don't even catch anyone that's gen 2 anymore okay Sunfern so we have an 80 a 68 and a 53. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of we're gonna get rid of um, the 76 um, Sunkern. Okay, and 
Pindico came back from Neg and the Fortress we caught. Those guys that we're getting rid of. They're lower than who we need. And Mantine, see we have a 93 Mantine that we got from an egg and then we found a 46 one. So there you go, bye bye 46. Okay, so what we're actually gonna do is we are going to transfer now um, the Pokemon and then we're gonna end this video. And in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at, I'm not gonna evolve some guys. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind um, and get some uh, um, eggs, get some uh, Pokeballs, go some Pokestops, try to go get some more shiny Magikarp. I already have one shiny Magikarp, but it's a female. I want to get a, a male shiny Magikarp if I can find him and evolve him. And not just that, I said that I like to have every single Pokemon uh, period in the game. Like, so like if I have Magikarp, I need Gyarados. So if there's, if they're like, I want both, both of them to be shiny. I want a shiny Magikarp and I want a shiny uh, Gyarados type of deal. Okay, so um, I'm going to try to find Shiny uh, Magikarp before the game is done. I'm going to try to find uh, Totodile. And I am going to try to find some more Squirtles so I can always get as many Squirtle candies as I possibly need. What we're going to do later though is we are going to have an evolution video. So I'll see you guys a little bit later after we transfer the Pokemon. But right now, we're going to transfer the guys. Now what we're going to do is after we just looked at everything and we kind of remembered it we're gonna we're just gonna keep it to the um we're, we're, we put it back to most recent and we already know in our mind oh which ones were we talking about which ones are we keeping so now let's just keep it on to recent let's flip it back into back to pokemon go and of course you can go back and forth back and forth if if you um you can go back and forth and back and forth if you end up uh, forgetting. Like I forget sometimes which ones uh, I spoke about, which ones I need to keep. That's why I recommend every single time you, you, you catch a guy, check its IV. Transfer it right away. So you never, never like, transfer the wrong Pokemon. That's the best way to go. You don't need dupl duplicates. There's no point in having duplicates unless you're going to keep the guy. If you're going to keep the guy, favor it right away. You won't get transferred, okay? So now let's go to our guys. Okay, Manti and Squirtle, talked about it, don't need it, transfer, see you later. Ekans, we said that we're keeping the Ekans, right? So let's just, let's take Ekans. I can't favor it right now because of the camera, it's in the way, it's fine, so I will, I'll just keep it. We said the Squirtles are going, we said the Fortress is going, we said Voltorb staying, Squirtles is going, Magikarp. Okay, and watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna transfer everyone that's everyone that's here. And the pine code we said is awesome to go. Okay, so now, look, look what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go back to the IV success. We're gonna refresh at the bottom. Look what it's gonna do. Okay, so we have the 88 still, we need to, to keep it. The 95 still, fine. The 77 we said we're going to keep, there you go. Okay, now when it comes to the sun kerns, I need to look at, I need to look at, I need to look at them. 161 is the 80, is the 68. 161 is the 68. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to Sun Kern. So now what you do is you see whoever is not favorited, you go through the list. Right? Okay. So the 161, we're keeping him. The 39, I remember, it was a low CP, but funny enough, it had the highest IV. So we're gonna keep him too. 77's going away. Transferring them, we only need two, because he only evolves t once. See you later, alligator.
And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Reset. Magikarp is there, we're going to catch it. Ekans. Transfer. Falter. I'm not transfer favorite. Execute. Favorite. And Magikarp. Catch. And it's a male because it is yellow. Most likely he's going to be a low IV anyways, right? 46, I'm not even bothering with him. I'm just going to transfer right away. You see so many Magikarps, you don't, um, you don't really need to uh, worry about the IVs. Okay. So now we're going to go to number. Any doubles here that they need to go? Okay, so the Ekans. Now let's look back. The 12 attack was the 429. So 429 has got to go. So you go. Match them up. And now based on number. 429. On favorite. Transfer. X. Oh, pick up the poke stuff. Allow me to. Oh, we got an egg. So we got three things. Oh, look at this. We got four. So let's take a look at something for a second, okay? Based on the data that I was talking about before, look how interesting this is. If you've actually stayed. In the, watching the whole video, we actually just picked up on something together. Look. Look at the journal. We got one Pokestop, two Pokestop, three Pokestop, four Pokestop. Ooh. That's interesting. I would think it was on the fifth Pokestop we got... We got, um... Oh. Yes, it is. There you go. We hit the seventh Pokestop. We got... Okay, so the first Pokestop we w went to today, we got seven items. Okay? The second Pokestop that we went to, we got three items, like it's a normal one. Third, three items, normal. Fourth, third one, like normal, okay? Fifth, we got four items. So you see automatically, on your first Pokestop of the day, you get more items. On your fifth Pokestop, you get one more item. You'll get four instead of um, three items. And we got an egg. So let's see when we don't have eggs, if uh, on our fifth Pokestop, and maybe even our tenth Pokestop, we'll get eggs now. That give you maybe eggs on certain Pokestops. Maybe that's how it works. Um, but on the on the fifth Pokestop, we got an extra item. So we definitely get on the tenth Pokestop more items if we do on the fifth one because we already knew it from multiple times. I didn't know about the fifth Pokestop actually getting one more item. That's very interesting right now. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we just deleted Ekans. So we're going to refresh. And you see Ekans is gone now, 88, 88, and it's, let's, it's the right one. It's 15, good. Okay, anyone that's extra, we have extra Nido, Nido Kings, I mean uh, Nidoranas and Nidorinos to turn them into Kings and Queens. I have to have extra ones. Same with poly. Okay, so we are going to take this poly whirl that's 93 and turn it into poly wrath in the next video. Um, when I do evolutions. You know what? Let's just go to recent, just to recent to see. Falter. 
fall to urban ex execute is who we need to be looking at right now. Okay. Fall to urban execute. So we're gonna keep right now our execute and our execute, both our executes, but we are gonna get rid of our, um, our electroid. But you know what? We're gonna do that in the next next video. We're gonna just do all the evolutions in the next video together. We're gonna to use the IV IV stats next time. We're gonna put it back onto recent for when we go to catch anything. But now everything that we have is favorited. So anything that we're gonna catch now, we're gonna keep it on recent. And that's what I'm saying. After you go out, I encourage like always catch a guy, see the stats, get rid of him if he's not good. Just do it like that so you don't have to waste like so much time looking through all them like we had to just go through everyone if posted just you know I, I the only reason why i kept all of them right now is to show you all them how the program works it's called iv stats one more time okay <coughs> iv s-t-a-t-s you can get it on the google app store very easy to use sign in right away gives you the, the stats okay only reason why I kept it is to show you guys how to use it. But when you guys are using it, and when I'm going to be using it now, when I'm not filming, I am just going to take guy after guy and get rid of them after I check how they are, okay? So pretty much, hope you understood how it works. First thing you need to be doing is you need to check the stats of the guy. What's his IV percentage? If he's like 88, 91, he's a keeper. Don't get rid of him ever. But always be trying to keep guys that are higher you know over time he'll build up if you first have like look right now you see that we have a voltorb that's 77 and a sun current that's 68 if those are the best ones that we have right now fine that's better than a 90 i mean that's better than a, a, a 40 something and that's better than a 30 something right so that's the point you just keep the guys and you just kind of make make it that the ivy keeps on going higher and higher and you just uh put your candies towards the ones that have the highest ivs so once you look at the um IVs, then take a look. Are you an attack guy? Are you a defense guy? Are you a stamina guy? Whichever one is higher of those, pick based on which one it's going to be. If it ends up being a tie, like the two mechanisms were. Hope you had an uh, interesting video. Hope you understood a little bit of stuff I was saying. Hope you learned a little bit. And um, yeah, just uh, like below. Keep on following. We're going to put more videos up and uh, we're going to keep on uh, talking about different things that are just good that help enhance our journey and are uh, battling into pokemon because look you have to understand something right if we know that gyms are going to be coming out soon like w well they are out what i mean is if we know that they're going to be changing gyms soon making battles a big deal this is the time to grind right now for pokemon this is the time to make your pokemon stronger to train your guys and get ready for them to battle because soon think about it if you can actually see them battle with your friends pokemon to pokemon you know just like i'm sitting on my couch I, I, I could go somewhere to battle, or even you have to go with your friend to the gym or something like that, who knows? If it's gonna be done in such a way that people are gonna to wanna to be battling all of a sudden, again, even more than ever, then like you're gonna be laughing your way to the to victory, really to victory, with this uh, IV stats, checking all that stuff out, and just really just farming your best Pokemon. So in the next video, video three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some evolutions i'm going to sit with you guys and put some evolutions up and uh yeah we'll talk about what needs to be uh happening in the future pokemon games because there's a reason why people decided hey i'm going to start playing pokemon go and uh you know start getting into pokemon again and it's uh definitely has to do with the catching mechanic the fact that it's changed over the last few years and that's something that we got to talk about how it's got to change it has to adapt with the times you know just in the same way that the systems are adapting uh the catching mechanism has to the graphics did recently everything else has to change too so we're going to close things off over here um we're going to keep it on recent we're going to go to get our last stop let's take a look i do not think that okay Gonna wait to check to see if the sixth stop will have seven, uh, four items. I think it will only will have three items. I only think the fifth stop and the tenth stop will give you more than three. I think it's three all the time. Well, let's see if it is actually now the sixth stop is four. Who knows? Wouldn't it be neat if it was like, you know, one to this many stop per day, you got three items. Uh, one to this many stops per day, you got four items. 
one to this many, five, and etc. And it just kept on going bigger and bigger. And it actually made it like the same way that we had like a daily streak, we actually had like a per hour or like per playing streak. So they made it in such a way that you actually didn't put the game down. Um, I wanted to go get the last. Sometimes there's just. Sometimes in the game also it doesn't load right away. The best thing to do is to close it off and to go to it again. Okay, we're just gonna get the last stop. So yeah, IV Stas. It's called IV S T A T S. Get it on the Google Apps. Really recommend it. Only app, extra app that I use. Like that's the thing. You're not gonna. I don't. I'm not against trackers or anything like that. Okay. I don't see trackers being anything different than Silk Road. What's different than me going out, uh, finding a nest, telling someone about it? Okay. It's the same thing with almost a tracker. Okay. Tracker just like locates even even further. So um, I use Silk Road all the time. Silk Road. If you guys don't know what it is, um, I'm following it on um, my Twitter. And that's the thing too, um, you should follow my Twitter. My Twitter information is uh, also um, in the video below. It's um, it's Poke, oh, I couldn't get Pokemon, so Poke Pro YouTube. So it's, it's uh, you know, um, what, what, what's, that, what's that thing called? At, the at sign, I was trying to think of the at sign. It's the at sign Poke YouTube. Poke Pro, YouTube, and uh, you can follow me on there. Are we gonna get three items? Oh wow, we got four items again. Has anyone ever paid attention to that? Is it gonna be now from from four to from from now? Before you get to the tenth streak now, so our sixth, our seventh, and our eighth. And our ninth will give us four items. And look at that, we got eggs twice. Or is it this place gives you eggs? Okay. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna incubate our eggs. I don't want that Wumper that's there. He's horrible, horrible Pokemon. Okay. Now, I heard before from Trainer Tips Nick that the best way to save money on incubators is to only use um, your 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 infinite incubator with the two kilometers and save everything else with the ones that you actually purchase. So this two incubator that's here, I'm actually not gonna use until my other um, two kilometer, that, that's on the point eight over here, is done. And the way that you could always, if you, in case you didn't know, which I'm sure you do because the game's been out for a while, the ones that are um, yellow are the ones that are infinite, and the ones that are blue, see that they're blue at the bottom? On the sides, sorry, blue on the sides versus being yellow or orange, those are the ones that break after three disposals. So that's why I set them up with tens and I set them up with fives. So yeah, listen, hope you've learned something in this episode. In the next episode, I'm gonna go through an uh, evolution spree, I'm gonna just grind for candy after candy after candy, and hopefully we're gonna do something that's really fun next um, that you're gonna find to be very, very exciting. Um, I have right now um, a Pewtitar that uh, has 100 candies, so I'm going to be turning into a Tyranitar, so that's my first thing. I'm going to be getting my first Tyranitar, which I'm very, very excited about. And uh, hopefully um, I have two of these 10-kilometer uh, eggs. One of them will be uh, a Dratini, because if I get, I'm like 92 or 91 when it comes to uh, eggs, I mean when it comes to candy. So if I hatch two more uh, eggs and they're Dratinis, that will get me my uh, Dragonite. Wouldn't that be amazing to get my Tyranitar and my Dragonite? all at once. So I hope you learned from the IV stats in terms of the percentages, uh, we learned something that first of all, let's go, let's take this back one more time. Okay, so when you go to Pokestop on your first day and on your second day, all the way up to your seventh day. So every day of the week you go to your first Pokestop, you get more items. I got seven items today. Is it seven items every time? I'm not too sure, right? I'm sure on the seventh day you get more than seven items. I'm 100% you do, you get more than seven items. I don't know if every other day though is more than seven, if it adds by the day or not. We know now on the fifth Pokestop, you will get four items instead of three items. And we found out also on the sixth stop, you also get um, you also get six items. So we're gonna try to figure out now if it ends up being you know your seventh, eighth, and ninth before your tenth, you get uh, four items. If it ends up being you know three for the first uh, four, 
then uh, four, then uh, then you know, four for the next ones until ten, and then when it gets to ten, if it ends up becoming, boom, a bunch of them, and that's how people are saying how they've gotten their evolutionary items. Okay, so uh, yep, this is Pro and Wist. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Pokemon Pro. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. See you later. Bye.